goodness. Um, this is the energy vibration reading for the Pisces Sun Moon Horizon sign. Hello, you Pisces. It is the second week of November, and I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is a wonderful positive energy in the month of November. So let's see what exactly is happening for you, Pisces. The week begins from the fifth until the eleventh, please. Um, go pick up the 11 11 reading this is very important for you Pisces to have the 11 11 energy and remember that we're online Fridays and Sundays live and we're just picking a card we're just um, dealing with stuff and we're welcoming each and every person please like share these videos thumbs up if this is your first time please likes and share okay all right you Pisces uh, the Prince of Pentacles comes up okay whoever the person is is between the ages of 25 and 45 let's see what else is coming up for the Pisces in this week um, some of you could be connecting and working together with that person um, there is the energy of uh, um, um, a lot of people are going to be victorious over this person whoever this person is uh, you are going to be victorious over this person this person as sending you a lot of communication it has to do with love for some of you it could be work it could be love that some of you are receiving a message now you're going on a new new journey at the end of this week you'll be receiving message now some of you are dealing with the Prince of Swords. the Prince of Swords is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra however it is happening this person is just being really totally ridiculous um, it could be um, someone between the ages of uh, um, 25 and 45 but this person is just being totally ridiculous okay all right now these two people are working together you're receiving some information is as if text message or unnecessary calls and that sort of a thing whoever they are is as if they can't let go of something just move the fuck on you know is as if they are not letting go of whatever the situation is is as if they constantly um, these people are like energy vampires okay so you're dealing with someone who is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra now these are the people who are always um, um, energy vampires they just suck the hell out of you so um, you're a water sign you need to keep away from air sign people because especially the air sign people they just um, um, suck your energy now some of you are dealing and maybe is in a relationship because we have the ear the energy of the Prince of Pentacles the energy of the Prince of Pentacles it is someone who is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and you could be connecting with this person to start something up a business or so I'm seeing communication happening between you and this person it is definitely you're planning on starting something up so um, there is communication um, so a lot of you guys it could be lava it could be a new relationship that you are about to start with a um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or it could be a business situation because I'm seeing a lot of communications that is coming up here and obviously it's something that you want to work on together now this is a new start and a new journey because you are going to be victorious over whatever is happening it is going to be good um, this new journey is going to bring you to victory okay so whatever it is that you decide to do with this person it is going to be happening for real so um, whoever this person is it can he's coming up in a romantic form for some of you I'm thinking that there is more offers out there this person is from a distance looking at you and being very um, he likes you um, there's an admiration of this person he really admires you for what you're doing um, so this is this is really good because he wants to he admires you for what you're doing and he really wants to connect with you he wants to build something and this is going to be happening and you're going to be receiving this new start so let's say that you score um, you Pisces had had an work interview with someone um, this is someone that you're going to be end up starting together because here you are in the weekend you could be receiving a message or the person decide that you're the one um, because the energy of the Emperor is here and you're um, going to be starting something new okay this person is an admi uh, admirer 
and want to work with you there's going to be information coming back and forth um, you know as if he's um, um, uh, offering you a deal and you're saying whether or not you're taking it or what but this person have great admiration for you for your work and um, you're gonna get on board here a new start and uh, um, the energy of the storage you're going to victorious come out you guys are going to be working together for quite some time okay yeah so the situation is yes a admiration it can be in a business relationship but it can also be um, it can be in a business relationship but this can also be in a love affair okay that someone is admiring you and some text messages there's communication that is happening there is a fastness of this situation that is happening okay let's see what else is happening with the three of cups and the seven of cups some sadness for some of you um, um, there is some sadness that is coming up for some of you um, it could be sadness about some some relationship but it's going to be good um, and it's um, sadness with a woman whoever this person is she's a queen of wands okay there's really some sadness that is happening with the queen of one whoever she is so it could be a situation with your mom a situation with um, you had to stand up for your right against someone this woman was being totally ridiculous whatever the delusions is or was you're seeing that uh, um, a whole lot of offers is coming to you okay the delusions are over now and you're seeing that a whole lot of things and you start you're moving away from all the delusion and the destruction and you start is coming up okay some of you are dealing with uh, this man um, this man is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius is the most annoying person um, with these two uh, when these two connected now justice is uh, um, um, over this man because this man has done something and now um, he's been um, his pain is due okay his pain is due oh okay I'm sorry guys he is pain is due okay so um, whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring this man is um, pain is Jews I can tell you because um, there is a huge amount of there's some sadness about a situation um, for some of you is uh, sadness about work let's see what is happening wheel of fortune comes so there is an Taurus Virgo or Capricorn between the age of 25 and 45 whoever this person is this person is a great admirer of you he really likes you he really cares about you he wants to be with you um, but um, this is someone who is coming from the past okay someone who really cares about him is coming um, in from the past let's see what is happening with the three of cups and working with the organization the three of cups working with the organization what is happening here um, some of you are dealing with uh, with the, yeah he comes back he comes back so um, whoever this person is he wants to work with you he wants to really connect with you and um, start a partnership this person okay some of you are turning your back on a work situation and deciding to choose another direction um, some of you are realizing um, that um, this um, there's a there is a, there's all these earth people coming up in this week seriously people all these earth people coming up in this week and they're here to stay sorry I'm having my coffee and they're here to stay it's as if uh, whoever these earth people are especially the men are admiring you guys okay um, some of you in work is going to be connecting with some earth people I'm seeing some sadness but I'm seeing some situation here where there is a lot of offer coming up for you I'm seeing some sadness I'm seeing and the sadness is coming from um, an Aquarius, um, an, um, 
Aries Leo or Sagittarius person some of you have had a, something with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person there is really some sadness that is happening here you're turning your back on this person because this person you realize and you come to um, you come to the agreement that this person is not civilized this person is not someone this is a totally totally ridiculous um, person and you have turned your back to this person you have stand up with the sword of truth against this person and it is good there was some sadness that is going to be happening but um, the sadness I'm going to be looking at the sadness because there is sadness and sorrows with the three of swords but I'm not seeing why it is because you have the three of cups celebration so it could be a bit of sweet but it's not so I don't know who you are out there but there is a, a Taurus Virgo um, Taurus Taurus um, Virgo or Capricorn person who is really um, for some of you is in love with some of you and for some of you they want to connect with you to do business so um, if you did apply for a job I'm seeing that this person is going to be coming back to you there's a lot of connection that is going to be happening some of you could be thinking about leaving a situation um, leaving a work situation and moving forward looking for something better and um, going on a new journey and you're going to be doing it if you have a boss that is an um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius or is it your mom that there was a deception situation that play you're going to decide I don't I no longer want to deal with this person okay first let me see what is coming out for you guys um, there is some love that is coming at you there is some happiness and joy you're going to be going out and finding new avenues of um, your financial abundancy so you men are really in this week um, some happiness and joy is going to be coming in for you men um, this could be coming in from um, an uh, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person um, be careful because there is something to do with um, there is really something to do with um, people working because there is this Taurus, this is Capricorn. So some of you are going to be connecting with a, a Capricorn. Okay, some of you are going to be really connecting with a, a Capricorn woman, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn woman. What is the sadness about? Three of Cups and then the Seven of Cups. What is the sadness about? What is the sadness about? As a first person, um, a sadness is about money okay the sadness is about money whatever the situation is the sadness is about money there is so many conflicts some of you men are going to be having conflict with someone who is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra mm. there is conflicts about money and there's really some sadness about money and you are going to be removing yourself and letting um, and, 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 and just stepping back you're gonna be removing yourself and just stepping back you're really just going to be removing yourself and just stepping back and don't deal with this person it's all about money it's all about this person being very very greedy okay this card comes up for a lot of people in this week it's a spirit awaken I embrace my soul purpose and align all aspect of my life to uh, to it's fully to it's fully okay so this is just so brilliant so positive so good um, because what is happening and what is um, what is happening what is transpiring is that you're aligning your spirit to, in um, a positive way and this is going to bring you happiness and joy okay you're aligning your spirit in a very positive way and it's going to be bringing you happiness and joy ladies and gentlemen I want to say um, I thank you for being here namaste until next time